Kyle says, is it a bad idea to build out an existing drive stack in G site if the new drive elements and G site pages are based on other businesses brand name keywords? For example, you have an affiliate site and one of your money sites pages is Bowflex review or PlayStation review. Thanks. I don't see why that would be a problem. I mean, that's, it is a brand name, but it's also a key. I mean, there's a brand name part of it, but it's also a keyword, right? People look for that kind of stuff. There are sometimes you can't create ads when you're using a trademarked name, but as far as, and again, I'll let Marco clarify what his, or put, you know, tell, tell you what his thoughts are. But in my opinion for SEO, I don't see why that would create any problem, especially within a drive property or a Google, you know, a drive stack and a G site. Marco, what, what do you think? It's only a problem when you're trying to run a, a ad. trademark yeah. ad, right? Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't do it. You have to get around uh, Google's terms of service and they're going to probably block that ad from showing because you, you're using something that's trademarked. But if you're, do, if you're doing a review of the product, now here's the caveat, unless you're doing a bad review of the product, if you do a bad review, you better make sure that, that you're right in case they come after you. Because if you can't show how you write about your, your bad review, you could get into a lot of trouble that way. Otherwise, if you're just trying to sell Bowflex through uh, Amazon or whatever it is, or, or sell a PlayStation through Amazon, uh, PlayStation welcomes you selling for them. Um, why not? They, they, they'll pay you. They're glad to, Amazon will gladly pay you the commission because they make money uh, both ways. So they don't care. Yeah. Uh, just keep in mind that if you're using those for like affiliates, you also got to check the affiliate agreements for um, for those types of products, guys, because sometimes they will be, you'll be in violation of their affiliate agreement if you're using their terms in like SEO titles and things like that. You, you have to look, most of the time, it's just for ads, for paid traffic. However, just keep that in mind. You really need to read the affiliate agreements for that kind of stuff because if you put time and effort into building out you know, a, a website with S, that you're going to put SE, you know, a bunch of time and effort in the SEO as well as a drive stack and all that other stuff. And you f are doing something against their affiliate terms of service by using their brand name in your titles and things like that. Then uh, you could end up getting your term, your affiliate agreement terminated or suspended from being able to promote that. So just keep that in mind. You want to be real careful about that. I don't know that that's the case with either one of these examples, but just make sure that you're aware of what's in the affiliate agreement. Okay.